Hi everyone. So I'm going to be doing a <coughs> excuse me TBR unwrapping and just kind of generally talking about my latest feelings on just where I'm at in my YouTube channel and booktube and everything else. So here goes. So I've completely forgotten what's in these. And I don't remember what the genre is, but I only have the purple and the polka dot right now. So we shall see. So, I know that YouTube is like really kind of messing people up on the whole sub thing. Because I finally hit 300 subs, so thank you for to everyone who has subscribed, has stayed, and all that other stuff. Um, a few days ago, I was actually at 305. Now, however, I'm back down to 301. And, of course, when I go to look at my subs, the same ones are still there. So, you know, a lot of that is just basically YouTube. Let's see what this is. Ah. Everything's eventual. I have been recommended this. I think I might have listened to the first story, but I cannot be sure. Oh yes, I think at one time we were listening to this on audio, but I never listened to the complete one. So I'm not sure if I will go back and reread the first one or just skip it and then go back to it. So that's kind of the thing. Sorry, I have cat here that I want to talk about is, and I know other people have brought this up, and I brought it up in one of my other videos not that long ago. Is there's still kind of a bit of exclusion, I think, on BookTube. Not that there's anything wrong with it, because I read a lot of it, but it is very, um, why a young, uh, well, YA is young adult, but very um, young woman dominated. And obviously, to some degree, I still am one, or I'm a young adult woman. Um, I'm in my 30s, so. And uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Some of my absolute favorites are YA. But, again, if you don't fit a certain kind of image or if your videos aren't are done a certain way it seems like you can get kind of lost in the sea there sorry had to stop the camera but anyways as always as I was saying some of us have to do things a little bit differently because we don't have as much freedom and time in the day. And I'm not begrudging anybody that does. All the more power to you. But it can feel like some of us who are a little bit different can get kind of lost in the sea of the many videos. So like, for me, I obviously do not film in front of a nice big bookshelf. Right now, much of my stuff is still in boxes. I don't have a whole lot of room. Work takes up a lot. Um, for instance, and, and my schedule can get kind of ridiculous. Um, like I was saying, for example, I am going to work an overnight shift tonight and tomorrow night. And then I am going to work, I think, like 12 in the afternoon for a few hours. Then I'm going back to my regular shift, which is 4.30 a.m. So you can possibly see how and why I would not have the energy that some other people can present. I have to make time for 
hobbies and life in general around um, other things in life and other responsibilities. So let's get on to unwrapping some more. So I don't do standard um, unwrappings or wrap ups. If I finish three or more books, then I will talk about them. So you're not going to see monthly wrap ups or unwrappings. I talk about books when I feel that I have understood them and I am ready to form an opinion. Sometimes I will go back and reread certain passages because I like book discussions. I don't want to just say, I read this book because of this reason or whatever. I want to tell you what the book's about, what I thought, um, if I thought it had issues, if I thought it could have been better, if I liked the characters or the plot or the characters on the plot, etc. And there's not a whole lot of book discussions in adult or a YA. A lot of it is tags and wrap-ups and such. And this one is the 10th circle by Jody, Jody P. Call. Okay. So I have never finished My Sister's Keeper, but I want to. I have no idea where my copy is. But So I picked this one up. A lot of my books I will pick up at the thrift stores, and that's the other thing. A lot of us have to booktube on a budget. So again, I don't have the latest books. I don't have a big bookshelf at the moment. A lot of my books are secondhand. So, and I don't read with the trends. I do and I don't. Like, if it happens to come on a trend, that's great. If there's still people around to talk about it. But I read what I want, when I want it. If I want to read my favorite book for the 10th time, I will. If I want to read uh, mystery, I will. If I want to read the newest young adult, I will. If it so happens to fall in popularity, that's fine. Um, but a lot of times, even the most popular books, I have been really late to the party. And I kind of enjoy that because I get to enjoy it on my own time. So there's pros and cons to a book being hyped versus reading it when it's not hyped, etc. So, I'm pretty sure Jody P. Cole here is, um, I don't think she would be young adult. I'm not sure how they classify My Sister's Keeper, but um, these are definitely contemporary books, I know that. And certain genres I know are hit and miss for people, um, but contemporary, I may be one of the only few people that actually like John Green. Like, besides Will Grayson, Will Grayson, I finished all his books, and that's the other thing. Um, I just read Looking for Alaska this last year. That was his first book. So that's been out for years. Um, a lot of times I'll see the movie first. And like I said, the trend will be done. But I want to read it and I want to review it. In my last wrap-up, I reviewed two Goosebump books. Those were books that came out in the 90s. But I have not finished all of them because I got to read other things as I was growing up. And so I'm revisiting some of my childhood um, books. I read The Elegance of a Hedgehog, which is a French to English translated book. Um, well, it was originally in French, obviously translated in English. That's how I read it. And it basically is an adult contemporary. And there's not much of a plot to it, but it has a lot of great dialogue. And it's very different from Goosebumps or Harry Potter. But certain books people kind of overlook because a lot of the time it usually is the trend. And again, there's nothing wrong with that, but it just seems like a lot of the small book tutors. If it's not trendy, we just kind of get kind of overlooked. This one is 
Ah, I'm glad I unwrapped this one. So I've had this one for a while, and I want to read more nonfiction. So this is um, The Woman Who Would Be King. And so um, I'm studying about Kemeticism. This is about, um, how do you say your name? Hatshepsut? I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but if I remember right, she was, was she the first female pharaoh or something like that? Yeah. So i um, studying about Kemeticism. I want to learn a little bit more about Egypt, and I also want to do or read more nonfiction. And that's another thing. I know they have nonfiction in November, but um, I know only a few people read nonfiction. I don't read a whole lot of it, so I want to um, definitely read more. So, and, and that's the other thing, too, is. I'm not just a booktube channel. I didn't really start out as a booktube channel. Um, I kind of, I'm kind of an everything channel. Like I did some book reviews. Like I did, I think a couple manga reviews that I was reading at the time. But my videos usually start out as talking about spirituality and religion, mainly uh, things dealing with paganism. So I would definitely like to hear from more. Uh, pagan YouTubers and booktubers and booktubers who happen to be pagan or witches. I know there's a few out there. I watch some of them. But if you're out there, um, I definitely want to hear from you. I want to hear book recommendations. Even if I don't practice something, I love to learn. And I don't want to just always go online. I, I like to open up a book and stuff, you know, and whatever. So, last, again, this, this is just me kind of rambling about my latest feelings. So, so this kind of thing, what is this? Uh, I was just talking about it, so now I get to finish it. My sister's keeper. Nice. I was liking the concept of this book, and I hear it's really sad, which is totally up my alley. I want to read more contemporary, that's a little bit more adult oriented, but I think this one, I think this is one of the ones that kind of go on the line of adult and young adult, depending on how you look at it. And so yeah, you know, I, I like right now it's. January, what, 22nd, and I'm doing it on wrapping. I may not talk about any books until the end of February. Maybe if I finish enough, I'll talk about them on the second week of February. I may talk about some books before the end of this month. I, I don't have a set for things because life happens. I'm a mom, I have a job. So, I have to get in videos when I can. Sometimes the videos are kind of short. Sometimes they're just like images and me talking. Maybe one day I can get a nice camera. And I'll finally have a room set up with books and posters. I would love that. Because I like seeing what people like. I like seeing their fandoms and stuff. But... I also like people that just have a pile of books, stack a camera up on other books, and just get in front of the camera and talk about their passions and what they loved about a story. So anyways, that's enough rambling from me. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.